Hey guys, in today's how-to video, we're going to look at how to disable the mud mod in Emerald Coast or Nebraska lands. I know that some folks have had some performance issues with the mud mod in uh, both of those two maps, and this video is going to show you how to disable that, because if, if mud is the only thing keeping you from playing these two maps, well then, there should be a way to turn it off, and there is. There's quite an easy way to turn off the mud. All you got to do is edit one little line in the map, and it's pretty simple. So I wanted to show you guys how to do it. But before we do that, I wanted to basically show you that uh, we've got the working mud on this particular version. Uh, this is Emerald Coast. This is actually the save game that I use for the Emerald Coast 10-year play. And you can see we're running down through this road. We've got plenty of mud going on here throughout the whole length of this road. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you in this video again how to disable the mud mod. It's really easy, really simple. Should take you less than five minutes of total time to get this done. Get here at the end of the road. Go across the road here. Alright. So what we're going to do is we are going to save the game here. So we'll have our truck on the south side of the map. We're going to go ahead and exit out. So what we have, this is my mod folder for the Emerald Coast series. And here we have Emerald Coast, the map. Now there's two ways to go about doing this. Uh, the easiest way, which may not be the easiest way for everybody, uh, would be if you use an application called 7-Zip. Right click on that and go 7-Zip and open archive. And it basically opens the zip file within 7-Zip. We can right click on moddesk.xml and hit edit. And it will then bring up on the right screen. It will then bring up in notepad the moddesk.xml file. What we want to do is we want to scroll down until we find a line called Extra source files section. Then we have a source file file name scripts slash dynamic mud dot lua. And what we want to do is we want to comment this line out. We don't want to delete it uh, because if we ever want to bring mud back, uh, we want to be able to have that line there. So what we want to do is we just want to comment it out. We want to disable the line. So the way we do that is we use the open bracket, the kind of the gator mouth pointed toward the right explanation mark and at the end of the line we want to do two dashes and then the other open mouth to the left okay and then what we do is we go here file save and then we'll close this and 7-zip says do you want to update the archive we say yes 7-zip does its thing close this out and now based on the time date stamp uh, the mod has been the map has been updated we've disabled the mud okay so that requires you to have 7-zip not everybody has 7-zip so that's not always viable it's a free application but some people just don't want to go out and install a bunch of applications so the other way to doing it is going to involve a little bit more work but we basically have to extract the map I'm going to extract it here to my desktop And I've already got it extracted here to the desktop just to save a little bit of time. We're going to open this up. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and use a program called Notepad++. So again, we want to find our source files. And we want to put our bracket facing to the right. Explanation mark. And then at the end of the line, two dashes and a bracket facing to the left or open to the left okay and when we do that in notepad plus plus you're going to find that our line changes from being color coded like the line above it to just being all black meaning that it is disabled we'll have to save that 
close the file. And then what we want to do is we want to zip this back up. So what we do is we just highlight all of these files within the folder, right click, and if you use 7-zip, just go 7-zip, add to ec2019.zip. If you don't have 7-zip, then go down here and go to send to compressed zip folder. And basically it is going to then compress it and place within this folder a zip file. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that zip file and put it into our mod folder. All right, so now that we've got this zipped up, we're going to need to change this to ec2019.zip. We will match the name of the mod in our mod folder. We're going to copy this and put it into our mod folder, and we're going to replace the Emerald Coast that is already there. Like so. And now that we have done that, we're going to fire the game back up, and we're going to see that the MUD has now been disabled or turned off. All right, so now that we are loaded in, let's go ahead and get in our truck and drive back across the same dirt. And you'll see now that we no longer have our MUD. Basically now the pre-mud version of the map, if you will. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward, fairly easy to disable. And then later, if you want to bring mud back for any reason, maybe you've uh, upgraded your system, or uh, maybe you've got new graphics drivers, and you just want to see if maybe the mud is working a little bit better, then you can go in and quickly re-enable the mud by getting rid of those five little characters that we put in uh, that basically disabled the mud line. So guys, let me know if this helped you at all in the comments. If you were having some problems running the map, either Emerald Coast version 3 or Nebraska Lands uh, as a result of the mud, maybe this will help you out and allow you to enjoy either or both of these maps. So until next time, Happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.